Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. I have been doing a little bit of uh, handcrafting in between episodes so that we have 50 motors now, which means that uh, we can unlock Logistics Mark 3, which I really want to do because I want those conveyor belts Mark 3. So let's select that milestone and get that unlocked. Uh, let's see, what do we need? We need the motors and we need some frames. All right, so there we go. Logistics Mach 3 unlocked and off goes the pod. By the means of a container with increased storage capacity and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. There it goes. See you later. Also, uh, I noticed that uh, we haven't researched mycelia, so I have grabbed some of that and uh, let's get that analysis going. And uh, then we'll see what that's all about. So, uh, what's next? Hmm, we need to be able, oh, let, before we get into all that, let's just take a look at District Mark 3. It just takes uh, one steel beam, so that's pretty good. We are already making those, so that's quite nice. And we also got the new storage container with 48 slots as opposed to 24, which is also very nice. Damn, that's pretty expensive to build though. Okay, so I am thinking that the next thing that we need to make is I would really like to make uh, encased industrial beams, but uh, since we don't have concrete on uh, our uh, our belt here, our main bus, our uh, ingot bus, I think we will go with the uh, stators uh, and get those going and then uh, motors. So let's just uh, put down a... Assembler and see what we need to make those. So, motors let's start with stators, they take three pipes and ten uh, wire, so that's not too bad. So, let's uh, start setting that up. Uh, we already have uh, the products uh, uh, coming in here. So we just need to set up the uh, assembly. So let's get uh, constructors on 9 and assemblers on 10. And let's get this going. So we need a constructor like so. And we need another constructor like so. And one needs to make a steel pipe. And the other one needs to make wire. That needs to go into a uh, assembler, which we will put down. We need to be able to get that out. Hope we can do that here. Yeah, we should be able to. No problem. Alright, so we need, I'm guessing we just need uh, Mark 1 belts there, and this needs to be set up to make uh, stators. It takes 60 wire per minute and 18 steel pipes, so we need to overclock both of those. But first we need to get some materials down here. So let's do that. Uh, we'll put a pole here and here. And we will 
put a splitter down here somewhere. I think it's there, yeah. And get this one going into it. Could we start using Mark III belts already? I suppose we could. And it needs power, of course. Uh, let's first uh, get everything going the way we want. Uh, oops, definitely not Mark ones. Wait, was that iron I sent over there? Yes, it was. Stupid. Alright. Let's try this again. There we go. And we might as well run the iron along as well. It's just, I'll, I'll go through and upgrade everything to mark uh, rebelts later. Uh, let's get up the top two higher. Two, two is enough, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Exactly right. And we need a splitter somewhere. There, and that needs to come in there. Okay, so we have steel coming in, and we have copper coming in, and then we just need to power it up. So let's take a power pole there and stick one over here. And where can that one get power from? I suppose it can get it from this one. And this one needs to go to those two. All right. So we are producing and this needs to come up to 60. So that's 133%, I guess. Uh, 59.85 only, so 134. 60.3, which will uh, saturate that. And this one needs to be making 18, so that needs to be over power overclocked as well uh, by 20%. There, which means that this is going, and we are making stators outstanding. Doki. So that's stator production up and running. Uh, let's just have a look at our power consumption now. 160, 175, 190. Uh, yeah, so we are getting to the point where we want to upgrade our power situation, but I think we can just squeeze in some uh, can't afford I'm missing frames uh, let's go grab some frames I think we can just get in motors as well before mm -hmm. we are in trouble hopefully 
And I know we only have three slots left for items here, but uh, we'll just run it up uh, on top. Uh, so where do we have frames? Where do we have frames? Not there. It's plates. And then we are... Where do we have frames? This one? No. Yes. Got two stacks. And do we have, uh, we have plenty of reinforced iron plate, I think. All right. So let's get back and see if we can get staters to fit in here or uh, motors to get fit in here. That's going to be a little bit more tricky because we need quite a lot of production. So I think what we might do is we will just use all of the space here uh, for this and then and turn the, uh, the belt somehow. So let's see. Um, motors. Let's just put down an assembler. Let's see. So we need two rotors and two stators, which means that we need three assemblers and we need four constructors. Something. Let's just set up uh, stator production first. So we just set that up here, so it's just to copy it. Uh, so that's not a big deal. Uh, so oh, I forgot to check how many it needs. That might be an idea. Let's uh, put down the assembler again. So it needs ten rotors per minute and ten stators per minute. And how much? How many uh, staters does this produce a minute? Six. So we need two of those machines and not unclock them. Which means that we need two. And we need four constructors here. There. Hmm. Okay. And then we need two assemblers making staters. One. Will the other one fit here? Yes, it will. Two. It's actually pretty good, I think. All right, so we need you to come out, uh, come out to here, and oh, this floor is too steep. Crap. Um, actually, I want you to come out further. Something like that. Uh, so here we go, and we need a merger. So these two will be new uh, pipe. And these two will be wire. Could use iron wire. Which I think I'll do. Because I think we are reaching our capacity of copper, maybe. I'm not quite sure, and I'm not in the mood to go check. So we'll do like this. All right, so that's steel pipe. 
and then we need wire. So, let's see. Too steep. Hate it. Have to do like this. Which annoys me a lot, but uh, it is what it is. Can't afford, we need iron plate. I think I'll run over and get the iron plate over from the storage here because we have so much over there. It's actually a little bit ridiculous how much iron plate we have over here. can delete this now. Okay, let's get back to the building. I really need to get this closed off as well. It looks a little bit stupid right now. Um, all right, let's see. Three. Um, there. And one in there. No, wait. Uh, my bad. Um, this one needs to come in there. And then we need a merger. And we actually need a splitter as well, so this cannot be the way it is. Alright, we'll move those. We'll move these somewhere else. Right now, let's just focus on getting all of our materials out. Like that, and the merger. There and a lion. Uh, so this actually needs to be Mach 3 belts, I think. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, so There. All right. And this can just be Mark 1. Let's get that going over here. All right. So what we could do is put down the assemblers like this, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. And... Hmm. This might need to come out a bit further in order for this to work. Let's just do that. We might as well use the Mark 3 belts straight away. Uh, needs to come out to here. And then come down this way. And then we need a merger. Where does it line up? Line up. It's not lining up. It's right there. And Another Mark III belt going in there. All right. So that's that. 
Then we can... Get this Mac 3 belt going over here. And we can stick a splitter in there. Get that going in there. And get it going in here. I guess it doesn't have to be Mark 3 here on these, but it's fine. For now, anyway. Uh, Alright, so we need to get this up and over. So let's put a hole in there. Something like that. Approaches of this clearance. What clearance? Not touching anything. I guess it thinks it's touching this uh, merger. This can actually just be my two belt. How can this? And so can that. And so can this. Alright, so it just actually just needs to be Mach 3 uh, here. Okay. Oh, it's not on the belt. Great work. Should be on the belt now, right? Yeah. Come on. Did I use what? There we go. Alright. And this cannot be like that because then it's not going over to the other one. So let's uh, bring this out here. I hate encroaching others' clearance. It drives me absolutely insane. Especially when it's, it's not even close to touching it. What's the big deal? Splitter. There. And. There. All right. Then we need a splitter up here, like so, and it needs to come in there. So these two are set up to be making staters. And these are configured. Yes. All right. So then we just need this over here going. Uh, so let's do that real quick. I want the iron to come down. It's these two that are iron, right? Uh, no, that's steel. So we can run this over to around here. And then have it come down and go in there. 
Uh, or actually, I want to use the top one so it's not going to come down. It's going to stay right where it is. Uh, this one... And we need to get going as well. There. And we can pull this one across. What happened there? There. We can pull this across. And we can pull this across. Like so. Alright. We have all of that going. Then we need to bring it over here. Right there I think will work, yes. And I wanna Pull this over. Now I want to pull this over. Oh. All right. <clears throat> so the first two were steel pipe. So let's get splitters in. For those, and let's see how it stands there. Steel pipe and steel pipe. And we can just use Mark 1 belts for these. There. And then we need, here we need for the iron, uh, we need to get some splitters in as well. Uh, so one right here, and one right here. And these can just be regular ones as well okay so that's all that going uh, once we power it up of course so let's do that and see that everything is working we need a power pole there we need a power pole there and we need a power pole over here all right and then we need to hook them up. You power that, you power that, you power that, that, and you power these two. That should do it. So we have products coming out. Yes, we do. And these ones are not going in for some reason. This is splitter. No, it's a merger. Uh. Why are they not going into the splitter or to the merger? I do not understand. Merger. Like that. Hmm. Okay, now, now I understand why. Uh, is a little bit annoying. 
Seven. There. And three, four. There. Come on, go in. Nope. Why the hell are they not going in? This is weird. Okay, let's put the merger down first. Like that. And then say four. There. And four. There. Now they can't get out, which is fair enough. Uh, there, now everything is going. Alright, that was a bit weird. But everything is going now. So that's good. And it's coming over here. And we will start making stators. This one is not working. And the splitter. This is a little bit frustrating, I have to say. Okay, splitter. Right there. And get it going out there. Get it going out there. And get it going in there. Okay, now it's splitting. And everything is going where it should go, and we are making stators. Yes, we are. There's the first one in there, and there we have four already. Okay. So now we just need to overclock, or actually we need to underclock something, I think. Why is this not going in? Ah! Uh... Okay. Let's see, this is a merger. Come in right here. Like that. And this can go in there. This can go in there. And why? No. No, no. No, no, no. Uh, so it needs to come out to here. I think. Whoops. That's not at all what I wanted to do. I actually think it needs to come out one more. So there. Yeah, but now it needs to come one back. Uh, there. All right. So let's see. Can we get this thing working? Now it's probably. Ah, it needs to be a merger. Dang it. There. And now it's probably going to encroach, uh, encroach others' clearance. <coughs> Which means that this won't work again, and dang it. You know what? You know how we're going to fix that? We are going to go up to and still encroaching. No, 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 no. It's encroaching this one, so let's just tear it up. Um, still encroaching, so do like this. Let's 
still encroaching. Why is it? What, what's it encroaching? What exactly is it encroaching on here? This is pissing me off. something let's just see if it can, can come down that short yes it can and a splitter right there bringing this in here and then we need to fix this one again Splitter. Right there. Go in there. Actually, you need to be a Mark II belt. And over here, it needs to be Mark III. I am going a little bit insane right now. Just a tad. These work. It works. Excellent. And that works. Excellent. And all of this down here works. Yes, it does. Okay, so we have production going. Now we just need to overclock it, uh, which we will do, or underclock, actually. We need, uh, let's see, 18, and actually, we just need five of these per minute, so we need to underclock this. Uh, by, let's say, 82%. Four point nine two eighty three per cent. Four point nine eight will go to eighty four per cent. Five point oh four, okay. Eighty four per cent. 5.04 actually we could do this one at 83% because then that's 4. Point, then it's only 0 0.2 that we're over that's fine uh, so that means that it now needs 14.94 steel pipe per minute and 49.8 uh, wire per minute. So wire, we are actually producing 67.5 per minute. So we can underclock this, uh, let's say 67%. Let's just see what that does. Forty-five point two five. And how much was it? It needed forty-nine point eight. So let's go to 75%, 50.625, uh, 72%, 48.6, 73%. Seventy-five percent. 
because this one over here needs a little bit more. It needs 50.4. So that's actually, let's just say 100 minute, which this will do. So 75%. And 75%. That's fine. And this is just fine as well. So, alright. So we're producing enough stators to make uh, one machine produce motors at a normal rate. But we also need to set up production of uh, rotors for it. So that we are producing that and then we can set the motor machine up but that is going to be in the next episode so uh, thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll see you next time